In the middle of Wyoming sits a vast and beautiful land known as the Wind River Indian Reservation. Wind River is very unique because you have two tribes that manage its joint assets on the reservation. The Wind River Indian Reservation is shared by the Northern Arapaho and the Eastern Shoshone. The two tribes began sharing the land in the 1870s, but their unique and separate histories go back long before the reservation was established. Wyoming became a state in 1890. The Wind River Reservation was established um, by earlier treaties, but really solidified by the 1868 treaty. So their government uh, proceeds that of the state of Wyoming. In the 1800s, settlers came from the east to make a better life. And these immigrants encountered people with their own history, languages, and culture. As more and more non-Indians started moving to the New World, uh, back in the 1830s there was a big push to just push Indians west and to deal with them later. But as more and more non-Indians continued to settle through the West, they realized that maybe a more permanent solution would be to set aside certain land reserves where Indian people could live and maintain their ways. The two tribes, who for many years had been considered enemies, set aside their differences. And more than 100 years later, they share a reservation, not only surviving, but thriving together. The Wind River Reservation is located in one of the most pristine areas in the whole world. 86% of our reservation is, is wilderness area and forest area. There's a lot of natural resources upon the reservation. There's, there's timber, there's hunting, there's fishing. Fishing, recreation, all these things are just amazing. The people of the Wind River Reservation are wonderful stewards of it. People come from all over the country and then they would come here and they're like, wow, this place is just beautiful. Valued for more than just the beauty of natural features, like rivers, cliffs, and mountains, much of the land is considered spiritual space. Certain sites, sacred to the tribes of Wind River, can be found within the reservation and throughout the state of Wyoming. There are several very important native locations that people can go to and see for themselves. The most famous is the Medicine Wheel. There are pointer arrows scattered around the state that point to this very special place. And that's exactly what it is, a very special place to do prayers and spiritual rites. Many tribes honor that place. Another that everyone knows is Devil's Tower. Sacred times happen there in June. Another one would be Dinwiddie Canyon. Very sacred to Shoshone people. It's where many of the people are buried in caves there. Bull Lake, which is located on the edge of the reservation, very sacred to both tribes. Those are just four, but they're very special to Native people in Wyoming. Today, the tribes focus on raising future generations that will carry on their heritage. On the Wind River Reservation, you have about 10,000 Northern Arapaho members and roughly 5,000 Eastern Shoshone members. Both tribes that share the Wind River Reservation want to create a bright future for their children. Education has become a very important part of the reservation. I think today you would see that most parents expect their kid to go to college. Both tribes have put a lot of money, a lot of resources, continue to, to make sure that their kids are given every chance to succeed. The story of the reservation is a story of resilience. If history is important in any capacity, then why isn't tribal history equally as important? The more we know about our neighbors, the more cooperation we have with each other. The only way for people to really understand who Indian people are today is to understand how we got to where we are. <laughs>